I'm not gonna lie, marriage plans aren't in the works yet just because everything is still new and fresh. I just got off the plane from filming last week, so I'm just trying to take things slow and, you know, live in the moment, as crazy as it is right now. The new Bachelorette, Becca! I'm an independent woman. Becca's got 28 new bachelors. Bring on the men! I think the main quality that I kept stressing is honesty and loyalty, just because I felt like in my past relationships I didn't always get that. Um, I really wanted somebody who was open and not judgmental and just carefree and open to new experiences, to all the other people that they'd be living with. And then another thing that's always important to me is I want to be able to laugh. Only this time, <laughs> they better not chicken out. Becca! 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 Oh, what is happening? <laughs> In interviews, I do empathize with Ari a lot more. And I was with him for a short amount of time and I saw him struggle with the guilt of sending women home. And at that point, I didn't always get it because I was so fixated on the one relationship with him. And in the process, you start to develop feelings for multiple people. So I get where his struggle was. Watching the breakup, it wasn't easy but we signed up for this and he had to show his story from start to finish and he had to show his thought process you know he had to end things with me to get to Lauren in the end it was difficult but I'm glad that it did happen the way it did because it held all parties accountable for everything that went down and it ultimately pushed me into this position now where you know I became a bachelorette and I met 28 great guys I mean, the main things that I wanted to find in a partner is somebody who did want to have kids because I want to start a family one day and I would love somebody that wanted to do that same thing. I don't think I could really end up with somebody that didn't want to have a family. Career-wise, I am a very independent person. I love my work. I love having something that I wake up to and have the drive and the motivation to go to every day. And so I definitely wanted somebody to respect that. I didn't want somebody that was gonna say, oh no, I want you to stay home, I, because that's not me. Somebody who is very family oriented, because family is huge to me, and I'm with my family all the time, and I wanted somebody who was that same way, who appreciated their family, who could take me in as their own, and who I could take in as my own, too. I mean, yeah, I'd be open to it. I don't know, until recently, I never really envisioned what my dream wedding would be. God, night one. Handing out the roses at the ceremonies, it's intense. And it's just, it's so weird standing there with all of the roses next to you and all of the guys laser focused on you. And I was like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? It's like, I don't know where to look. Do I look in everyone's eyes? Do I just look around? Um, it was an interesting thing to go through. And um, I mean, it was nice because it was, on my terms and it was deciding who do I want to continue, continue to get to know and who do I see relationships developing with. It's definitely a lot more stressful, I think, giving out the roses because it's intense and everyone's watching you and hoping for the best and you know, it's gonna be hard sending some guys home.